Now, every year, I find new bugs, new insects that I've never seen before. Now, over on my pomegranate fruit here, we're going to look at some of these, and I'm going to try and identify them later. So let's get a really good look at these guys. Now, I've never seen anything like that. That is the strangest insect I have ever seen. What in the hell is it? You know, it's quite interesting. The interesting part is that they're not on any of the flowers, but they're on the forming pomegranates. What are those? Isn't that interesting? What are they? They almost look alien. You know, the way they stand, the way they move. And you never know what we have in our garden. And this is one absolutely strange insect. Look at this. It's not weird. Makes you not want to eat these pomegranates, don't it? Well, I'm going to be spraying them down with some horticultural oil or maybe some neem and see if that affects these insects because that is some crazy stuff. This is really, really interesting. And they see and notice that I'm turning this, trying to find out who they are. Because this is really, really weird. And like I say, they're on all the forming uh, fruit, like so forth. I don't see them on any other parts of the leaves or the fruit where the uh, flowers are, but when it comes to the the more harder shield, that's sort of weird. Here's a much bigger forming pomegranate and a few of them are there also. Sort of weird. It really is. It makes me beg the question, do scientists or the government release Insects, we know that our bees provide a lot of benefits. But right now, if you folks have not been paying attention, our bees are in trouble. They are spraying so much that our bees are dying faster than ever. And your backyard beekeepers like myself and many others, well, we're in trouble without bees we're not gonna be able to pollinate any of our food. And that's the truth. We need them and they need us. But again, do you folks feel that scientists or the government may be releasing insects into our gardens to destroy our crops or maybe to pass on a certain pathogen or to inject from the insect to the fruit the RNA, you know, I'm not sure. Every year, I always seem to get rid of the insects that I thought that were bad, like the beetles. Don't see none around here this year because I don't grow any of my greens outdoors anymore, my Chrysiphia, so they don't come around. But I'm always discovering new insects. Now, I'm not an insect uh, scientist. I don't know much about them. That's not what I do. But I want to know what in the hell are these little sort of alien type insects? Let me show you again. May I remind you, this is my potted pomegranate. And they are right there. Yeah. 
They're up there. And they're mainly on the hard. Yeah. Yeah. But just while I'm talking to you folks, something say turn around and check on your almonds. You want to see this? The beetles I used to see are twice the size now, along with those little insects again. Check this out. Look at that. What in the hell is going on? And they're, you know, they're dealing with the sap that is coming out of the um, almonds. This is quite strange. Am I gonna have a bad year, a bad crop? I'm not sure. But these guys don't look like they're going anywhere soon. And this is absolutely, look at that thing. Look like a, a half bug and a half crab with the type of legs it has. That is absolutely horrifying. And just so you know, those guys get pretty big. Look at them. Look at that. Yeah. I got a new set of issues. Now I'm concerned about my peach tree. I haven't spotted it on any on here, but I'm wondering if it's because of the diametaceous earth. I may have to apply it to here also. Well, folks, I got some identification processes to go through. Got some more photos to take. Stay tuned. We'll see exactly who they are, what they are, where they come from, and why they're here in my garden. Shalom.